mouth like this I ain't come for a hug, head straight for a kiss Don't come for my face, cause I'm talking about my hair yeah. I'ma need all of my kisses down there One hand on my neck, one pulling on my hair Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel It is Ty, aka Glam by Ty And I'm back with another video So if you guys have not seen part one I brought my finesse hair series bag um, the video is going to be right here and it's also linked in the description below so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and if you didn't see my original hair finesse series that's also linked below too. for today's wig we have another wig from hair remy and this is their blonde wig you guys it's super cute it was like not that bad to finesse like it was pretty easy you don't get too much lace but that's okay that's okay for us beginners that's fine we don't need to work with a lot of lace if we don't know how to work with lace period okay i'm gonna put a product picture because it's the color did not come like this i actually got this color with toning the hair so if you guys have not seen how i tone my blonde wigs that will also be linked in the description below but yes, it's basically just purple shampoo. That's all. Yeah, this is giving me real uh, human hair, Remy hair mix. Yes, more human than anything because it took toning. No synthetic hair is gonna do that. So, hmm, I'm kind of curious. Like, is this virgin hair or not? I don't know. Comment down below if you guys wanna see me color this wig or do some wacky old color. I don't know, just highlights or something. I don't know, comment down below. I'm going to insert a before and after picture of this wig so you guys can see. You guys, I'm done rambling. I'm going to let y'all watch the finesse on this drum because honestly, it came out super cute and this wig is super affordable. So, I'm done talking. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I'm bringing you all wig videos, all hair and beauty videos. So, yeah, you guys. So for today's wig, we have another wig from Her Remy. And like I mentioned in my last previous video, I have four wigs from Her Remy that I will be showing you guys. This is the second one. So when you first open the box, yes, she's a blonde. Um, this is a little card that it comes with. It basically just tells you what, what, what the wig is called and the color. This one's called Ellie and it's of course in 613. When you take the hair out of the packaging, this is what she looks like. She's really yellowish. I don't like that. I don't like how yellow she is. For my skin tone, I don't like how yellow she is. Um, it might work for you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you guys what I use to give it the yellow. Okay, so a little trick that I had learned when I went to beauty school. The way to cancel out any like yellow tones is to use any type of purple shampoo or any type of purple um, coloring or something. It's just basically purple shampoo. Purple cancels out yellow on the color scheme so if you want to get rid of any like brassy yellowness purple shampoo this is what the inside looks like this one does have combs if you guys see my last video the last one didn't have combs and i was like what the fuck but this one has combs it has one two three combs the adjustable strap this one has lace unlike the other wig but it doesn't have that much you literally get just parting that's it and maybe a little on the sides but y'all know as long as we have lace we can finesse it okay what i'm about to go do is actually go on ahead and wash her she's short she's a bob i believe she's like 12 inches yeah i want to say like yeah 10 12 inches uh, i'm gonna go on ahead and wash her with my purple shampoo i'm gonna show you guys the purple shampoo before i do that but I'm gonna wash her and you know, just deep condition her and whatever, bring her back so that I can show you guys how I'm gonna actually start plucking this wig for our install. I wanted to show you guys what purple shampoo, exactly the purple shampoo I use. I use the Shimmer, Shimmer Light shampoo. It's for blonde and silver hair. So, and like literally it's, it's purple y'all. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's, literally purple okay so uh that's gonna take the yellowness of that wig out hopefully this works on human hair okay you can take the yellow the 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 cancel out the yellowness the brassiness of a blonde wig on a human hair with this i'm hoping that this works on one of the remy wigs because if it does then it's like oh child what else could we do can we color it i don't know but this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go on ahead and just wash the wig like normal. But this is the shampoo I'm using. And then I'm gonna condition it with, I think I have Suave in there, whatever I have. I'm going to use to condition it and then I'm gonna come back to you guys so you guys can see the difference in color. And 
so that you guys can see how I pluck the wig. Okay, so I literally just washed the wig with the purple shampoo, and as you can see, there's like, it's blonde. There's no jello, there's, which makes me think maybe you can dye this hair because nine times out of 10, any type of synthetic hair, it's not gonna remove the color or shade or tone or whatever that it's like, it's made that way. With synthetic hair, when you get it and it's colored, it's made that way. You can't change the color after that. This was yellow and the fact that I got it to be like a cooler blonde, that just goes to show that there is some type of human hair in these wigs. And they're cheap as fuck, you guys. I'm gonna put her on Bridget's hair just so that I can, um, you know, get started with the plucking, the styling, and all that. I'm gonna do everything on Bridget's head, and then I'm gonna put her on in my head. So, I'm only doing this because I want it to be easier for you guys if you have a mannequin head. It doesn't have to be like this one. It could be like literally one of the styling foam ones. I have one in the back. All right, so basically, all I did was put her on Bridget's head. I do like the fact that she is not like straight. She does have like some type of wave to her can't really explain it but i like that uh another thing that i like about the wig is that it has soft lace even if it is um a remy synthetic mix the fact that the lace is soft is going to make it easier to blend it and make it melted on the arm like i say every video i never know how this is going to turn out if you want to see how it turned out before this video make sure you're going on ahead and following me on my instagram at it's glam by ty I always have a link in my description. I always put it into my videos. Go follow me on my Instagram. You will get the first insight of all my wigs before my YouTube does. So keep up with me, sis. All right, so now that I got everything basically laid in the way I want it, she's all combed out. There's no tangles, nothing like that. I'm going to take my non-slip tweezers. These are very important. They are non-slip, which means the grip on these motherfuckers is different, okay? When you are plucking, you want to use non-slip because, especially on wet hair, I like to pluck on wet hair. Um, I have plucked on, you know, dry hair, damp hair, whatever, but I like to pluck on wet hair. That's that's a preference. That's a preference. Uh, you do what works for you. You do what you're comfortable with. I like working on wet or damp hair. When I am plucking, I make sure that I use my non-slip tweezers because wet hair is slippery, of course. So, it makes it a better, easier grip for me to just go on ahead and pull. Okay, I'm gonna start off by just sectioning off that first piece, the first little hairs in the front. We're not gonna touch that, that's gonna form our hairline. So I'm gonna just take a little bit, like literally, you guys could probably see, it's just literally thin as paper, or thinner than paper. I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm gonna use this side, like this, okay? Not like this, I'm gonna use them like this, okay? So the slanted part, as you can see, is this way. Not this way, no, this way, okay? And I'm not gonna be plucking too much. Like I said, there's hardly even anything on these motherfuckers eyes. I'm just gonna pluck a little bit. Um, it is kind of hard to pluck on camera for you guys because I can't barely see. But I'm gonna try my best, okay? <laughs> so a lot of people usually ask, like, oh, well, how do I know if I pluck too much or how do I know if I'm done plucking? Step back, okay? Step back from what you're plucking and just look at it real quick, all right? Squint your eyes, do all that. Is there a gradient effect from front to back? Is there like scars hairs from front to back um i'm trying to see what's the best way i can put it for you guys if you ever look at your baby hairs like you see the the gradient effect of like scars hair to being full hair so just try to mimic your natural hair okay that's that's how i learned i learned mimicking my natural hair and then now i make it fuller or thicker or thinner however whatever look i'm going for with this back and I just like to grip the hair like this. It just makes it easier for me to hold everything back as I am plucking. It's not too much. You definitely don't want to pluck too much. Like, I think even this is just good enough for that one side because, like I said, there's not even a lot of lace on these sides. So you don't want to pluck too much to the point where you see the track. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? Do not do that. So let me see up here a little bit. As long as you take that first front section out, 
you can pluck the rest back and then work with that later. And I like to pull the hair taunt back. And then, like I said, taking my scissors on this side. Just literally plucking. Alright, so once I basically am good and satisfied with the sides, when I work to the top, I'm going to pull just literally everything back. I'm going to take that little first section out of hair, which is our hairline, and I'm pulling the rest back. And I'm going to take my tweezers like this, and I'm going to just go straight up. So I'm not gonna pluck too much on this because as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, I can. Um, I'm already starting to see like a gradient effect of where the hairline is and where the tracks are. So I, I'm not even gonna play with it too much. I'm gonna just leave it how it is. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it how it is. And work on the other side, wait. Up here now I'm pulling everything back so the hairline that we took out in our front I'm pushing everything back and I'm just gonna go in and you know keep moving keep don't stop in one spot and plug you will have a hole in your lace or you have a bald spot in your lace don't do that keep moving I think that's good for this side so I'm gonna do the uh, other side off camera and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when we're actually ready to style her and get into it all right, so now that I went on ahead and plucked her, as you can see, she actually has a part now and um, some sides with her. I'm gonna go on ahead, blow dry it, and straighten her. Okay, so this is what she looks like when she is completely straightened, plucked, blow dried, a bad joint, okay? So, yeah, she looks really, really good and she feels super soft. So these are what the sides are looking like. Hold on, focus camera. These are what the sides are looking like. Very graduate effect, okay. Here we go. I always have to like prepare myself before I put my wig on because I just be like, Ugh, sometimes it's just not gonna look great. Oh yeah, I can't see like at all. It's like a screen door. Let me see, let me see. Not bad. As y'all can see, this is what the sides look like. I hope y'all can see it, because I really can't, unless I, like, oh, there we go. How about we do this? Hi, y'all. So this is what the sides look like, very crisp and clean and nice and done. Yes, what everything looks like. I did go use my hair wax stick, which is why the hair kind of looks like this. So far, so good. Okay, no, no big complaints. Um, yeah, so far, so good. What I'm going to do now is show you guys the cheat sheet. We'll show you melanin girls the cheat sheet on putting blonde hair on our heads. Now, I can go on ahead and install this just like this. Okay, I could just put it on my head, whatever, without putting any um tint on the lace without putting anything i could just literally put it on my head like that but i'm not going to do that i feel like it's i could blend it in better with my skin tone so let me show you guys a little trick i'm gonna take my got to be free spray okay i'm gonna take the inside of the wig and i'm gonna lightly lightly with a light finger and a light hand i'm going to lightly spray the inside of the lace Like bar barely anything, basically. This is just going to protect our lace and our hair from getting makeup on it when we put makeup on the lace. 
I feel like I'll be making some things like I'll be putting some things so stupid to you guys. I don't mean to talk to y'all like that. However, I'll be trying to simplify shit to make it so much easier for y'all to understand. So basically, I sprayed the free spray inside because when it's time for me to go put my makeup on to match it with my scalp, I don't want the makeup to actually get on the hair. Um, if you guys watched my most recent video also where I did my silver bob, um, that's basically that's basically what happened. I basically put too much powder or makeup on the lace that it seeped through the hair. And then by the time it was time to actually style the hair, it was just like makeup. So to avoid that, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. Then I'm going to come on and put some makeup on it. Just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And then it's gonna be time for us to install. Off camera, I went on ahead and cut the lace. And the only reason why I did this was because I felt like this doesn't really have that much lace. So it would be a little bit harder for me to cut the lace once I already put the wig on my head. I figured it would be easier to just cut the lace now. It's completely optional, completely up to you. However, this time around, I cut the lace first. What I'm about to do now is put a little bit of makeup just on like the sides of the, where the lace is in the middle. I'm taking my Anastasia's Beverly Hills Contour uh, Powder Palette. And I'm gonna go with this shade right here because that's just about my shade. So I'm gonna start from the bottom down here. I'm gonna try to use all the makeup that's on the brush first before I go pick up some more makeup. Because like I said, I don't want this to see through. It's literally just for our lace. Y'all see that? See the difference? It's just for our lace, that's it. And when I am picking up makeup, I'm not picking up a lot of powder. It's just literally a little bit. It's literally just to make everything blend. Okay. For my lace glue, shawty. I'm gonna be using this Ghost Bonds lace glue. And I already started, as y'all can see, I forgot to turn my camera on. But I just literally put some dots, okay? Like that. And then we gonna mix it in. Make sure you're using like, um, you don't have to use a brush, but like just something flat to spread it out evenly. Okay. Like that. take the sides back and pin everything back so I don't have to worry about it and I'm going to literally I try not to move up every time in my videos so that y'all are not like confused but I'm literally taking it right up to where wait right up to where And I'm gonna take the back end of the comb and just press everything in like so. Okay. All right, so off camera, I did the left side. <laughs> Right. So I already did the left side. I'm gonna show you guys the exact same thing on this right side. Take some of these guys too. Not too much, you know. You just wanna take out what you would create for baby hair, basically. And I'm gonna put this side back. and make little dots of where I wanna lay the lace, okay? Then I'm gonna take my brush, my makeup brush, and I'm gonna smooth everything out like so. So it could be a thin layer, remember we want a thin layer. Okay, blow dry. So as you can see, it's clear. 
you can go on ahead and add another layer on there. I'm only doing two because I don't plan on keeping this wig on long. Um, so yeah. And you're gonna just want to lay it just like so. Right on your lace clip. And I like to press my comb, make sure you know everything is flesh and melt it in. I keep saying flesh, I meant flush, Jesus. Okay, so now that I went on ahead and beat my face, I probably did let this sit for about, I wanna say like 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. I listened to some music, I did my face. So I, I had some time to let it sit for a little bit. Now it's time for us to actually cut some baby hairs and I'm not gonna be dramatic with these baby hairs for the simple fact that um, they're blonde and I don't want them to be like transparent with my skin. I highly recommend getting one of these like edge toothbrushes, comb thingies, whatever. You can use a toothbrush too. You don't, you know, you don't gotta be that bougie. <laughs> you don't have to specifically go out and buy this. I'm just saying this is what I use. It works for me. All right, so I see my first baby hair. It's gonna be right here. So you guys have seen me do this a couple of times. I'm just gonna take my baby hairs and a razor comb and literally just cut it and let it go. Be another baby hair. Okay. I'm gonna take my free spray and just Spray it on the brush. And swoop. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished result. She's super fucking cute. And she's honestly starting to trick me. Like, is it human hair or is it Remy hair? I'm confused. Like, I'm confused. However, I'm super, super excited because it did take the purple shampoo, which means that this hair can be toned. But yes, you guys, it's super cute. It does not shed so far, which is good. Um, no big problems. Only thing is, it's only a little bit of lace. So this is what the sides look like. Other side looks like so you don't get that much parting on the sides but this is such a cute wig for someone who wants to play with color or play with blonde hair and they're not a hundred percent sure that they want to go on ahead and spend all that money on a wig um, but yeah make sure that you if you're new to my channel you're subscribed so you don't miss none of my hair finesse series videos if you are a return subscriber sis share share the wow share the education share the knowledge okay i am done rambling i am in love with this wig i give this vote mm, an eight out of ten if it can color it's a 10 out of 10 sis this shit is super affordable but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video